Today I have five Door County Coffee and Tea Company coffees to share with you. Uh, during this video, you're gonna see, uh, like I said, five different ones. These were sent to me from Scarlet, and these were made in Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin. That's where the Door County Coffee and Tea Company is located. Um, we have Door County Cream. I will describe each one as I'm trying them. Hazelnut Cream. Raspberry Butter Crunch, Cinnamon Hazelnut, and Chocolate Raspberry Truffle. And today, I've already made up my mind before I came on camera. A lot of times I have no clue which one I wanna try. Today I wanna try the Door County Cream. And then my plan is to try the Door County Cream and then tomorrow try the Hazelnut Cream. That way I can tell um, since they both have the word cream in them, I'll be able to tell the differences. Um, so anyway, I want to thank Scarlett very, very much for sending me these. I really appreciate it. It's cool getting to try, um, coffees that I never, I never thought I would get to try. And I think these five are probably, don't assume anything, right? But I think they're probably out year round. Um, because the Christmas was labeled, uh, you know, it was seasonal, it was red bags, and the fall were in uh, orangey color bags, and then the summer, a spring summer collection, they're in different color bags, but since these are in the blue bags, I'm assuming they're out year round. So I'm going to try the Door Candy Cream today. It says it's creamy, vanilla, and hazelnuts. Nicely aromatic. Now, the hazelnut cream also has hazelnuts and cream. So that's what I'm saying. I don't know what the difference is gonna be between this and the hazelnut cream. It smells very good. Very good and uh, you can smell the hazelnuts. So I'm gonna get this going. I've already got my water in here and I will be right back when it finishes brewing. Okay, I've made a decision here. What I'm gonna do, because I did not know that the Door Candy Cream had hazelnuts, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make, uh, I'm gonna make both of them right now. Right now, um, I'm gonna let this finish, the Door Candy Cream, I'm gonna let this finish. I'm gonna pour my cup. Um, it will stay hot. Um, if it got cold, I would just heat it up in the microwave, right? Uh, but it will stay hot uh, in this cup. I'm going to eat, I'm going to wash out my pot really, really good. Make sure there's no residue of the Door County cream in there. I'm going to go ahead and make the hazelnut cream. And I'm going to be able to tell you all the difference when I taste them. Uh, the hazelnut cream, I'm going to go ahead and open it. Um, because I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to pour this. And then that once I've uh, cleaned up my pot, I'm going to go ahead and start making this. I don't need to start making it on camera again once I've smelled this. The hazelnut cream says, hazelnut made a little smoother with wonderful creamy notes. So they both say creamy. They both say hazelnut. The hazelnut cream does not say vanilla, but still, does it make that big of a difference? I do smell vanilla in this one. I definitely smell vanilla in the Door Candy Cream. And you do not smell vanilla in the Hazelnut Cream at all. So, this, I'm gonna keep them straight. <laughs> this is the, 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 the Door Candy Cream. I'm gonna put in my Epcot mug. I'm gonna turn this off. And I already have my sweetener. I use my own sweetener in these coffees. I should have said this. The reason I love these coffees is because they're no calories for me. I don't have to add any creamer at all. That is where my calories come from is creamer. So I try to save on my uh, calories. So I don't have to use, um, use any calories. I use uh, sweetener packets, which are no calories. And so, um, uh, I, that's why I love this coffee. So that's going to be cup number one, Door County Cream. I'm going to clean up my pot and make the hazelnut cream, and I'll be back to try both for you. 
This is finished enough for me to go ahead and pour it. Yes, it's probably not good for the coffee pot. It'll beep at me here in a minute. Okay, I'm gonna try, hmm. Now that I know the Door County Cream has vanilla in it, I'm gonna try the hazelnut cream first. Uh, and it doesn't say anything, I'm oh, here. It doesn't say anything about having vanilla in it. So we will see about this one first. This is hazelnut cream. Mmm, that's so nice. You can taste, um, you can really taste those hazelnuts. They're very nutty. It's a nutty flavor, but at the same time, it's buttery. It's a buttery, nutty flavor. Okay, now this is the Door County Cream. This is the one that it says it has creamy vanilla and hazelnuts. So this is the hazelnut and now vanilla and hazelnut. And believe it or not, even though I let it, this one sit, this cup, while I made this other pot, uh, even I had to wash the pot and everything, it's, it's still hot. But there is a very distinct difference. That definitely has more, uh, has vanilla in it. You can taste the vanilla. The vanilla is the prominent flavor. Sorry, here goes the clickety clack of a pug. Clickety clack, clickety clack. Guess who's walking down the track? Sorry. <laughs> um, anyway, um, this one uh, has uh, the notes. They love to use the word notes. Uh, the um, this one definitely has stronger vanilla notes in it. Uh, the vanilla is what comes across. Uh, the hazelnut is there, but it is secondary, definitely. This one, I love, uh, and I like this one a lot, but out of the two, I prefer just the hazelnut cream. Um, I, you would think that with something saying uh, vanilla and hazelnut, that you would like the one that would have more of flavors in it than just the the one simple flavor but really I like the one simple flavor because I add um, I add my own sweetener like I said but uh, this I, I just like it better without the vanilla I like that nutty buttery flavor it's just it's this one's buttery this one's vanilla so that's the difference. Now, are either one of these cups gonna go to waste? No, because I will drink them both, believe it or not. Even if one cools off, then I will heat it in the microwave. Like I said, I don't want anyone to think that I uh, am gonna be wasteful with the coffee because I'm not gonna be wasteful. Uh, so my pick is vanilla cream, or hazelnut cream. Yeah, hazelnut cream is my pick out of these. And next, you will be seeing raspberry butter crunch, cinnamon hazelnut, and chocolate raspberry truffle. So, uh, I will be back with one of those tomorrow. Today, I'm going to be trying the raspberry butter crunch. This says raspberry ribbons glide through toffee. So... Oh, wow. Oh, that's amazing. That smells so incredible. I don't smell uh, toffee, but boy, I sure do smell raspberries. I cannot wait to try this. So, I'm going to let this brew, and I'll be right back. The raspberry smell in the room is incredible. It smells so good. Good. 
Um, it, it's almost a, a summery smell. Um, I associate uh, raspberries with summer, so that's what I think of. Oh wow. That's very, very nice. Very nice. Love that raspberry flavor. I do not taste toffee at all. Um, like I said, it says raspberry ribbons glide through toffee. I don't taste the toffee. What's coming through for me is raspberry. If they had, I wonder what it would taste like without the toffee because um, it must add something to it for them to include the word toffee in it. But for me, this is very... Um, fruity. Uh, one of the flavors that I tried, the Door County Coffee, uh, was the blueberry, and it is a spring-summer um, flavor, and it is incredible, too. So, maybe I just, that comes as a surprise to me, but maybe I just like the berry flavors a lot. I just lean towards those. Those are really good. Um, although, I love their hazelnuts and stuff like that. Um, the the berry ones have surprised me you know just like the chocolate cherry uh, that i've tried i love the chocolate cherry so um cherry blueberry raspberry so this is really good i like it a lot it um it's not a strong coffee it's not what i would consider strong like, I would not necessarily think of, for me, I would not brew this right when I got up in the morning just because I want something stronger when I get up in the morning. However, this would be like my afternoon cup of coffee, like, or like if you want to settle in with a book or, you know, under a blanket for a TV show, you know, something like that, just a, a cozy cup of coffee. That's what I would consider this one is a cozy cup of coffee, not that strong wake you up kind of cup of coffee. So, but I really, really like this a lot. Today I'm going to be trying the chocolate raspberry truffle. Um, since the last one I tried was like raspberry crunch and I really liked it, I figured I would try this one. It is, it says it's the fresh taste of raspberries covered in dark chocolate. And I love chocolate, so we will see. Mmm, I smell the raspberries just like I did in the one yesterday. Mmm. I don't know if I smell chocolate yet or not, so we'll see. I'm going to put a scoop in here and get this going, and I'll be back. That's why I hadn't started talking, because <laughs> I knew it was going to beep at me. It smells um, wonderful. It smells like raspberry. It smells, it reminds me of the raspberry, uh, raspberry butter crunch, I wanna say was the name of that coffee. Um, it, it smells very good. I'm smelling only raspberry. I do not smell chocolate. And chocolate is the first word, chocolate raspberry truffle. So we will see if it tastes like chocolate. Yes, it does. Very nice. That is very, very nice. I like this a lot. That is so smooth. Um, the raspberry does not come across as, as overpowering or harsh or too fruity. Um, it's just enough to let you know that it's there and the chocolate just when you take a drink It feels like the chocolate just spreads out over your tongue. I don't know how else to say it. That probably sounds goofy, but Yeah, 
it kind of just sits there and just melts um, all over your tongue. I love that. That is very, very good. Um, um, hmm. I like that raspberry butter crunch, but I think I like this one better. So, uh, because just that, that chocolate truffle element does add something to it. It does amp it up a little bit. And I love it that I'm getting that my little chocolate fix too without adding any more calories. So if you like raspberries, if you like chocolate, this is a must have. Uh, chocolate raspberry truffle, uh, very, very good. And um, I, I think I only have one more to try in, uh, in this grouping. So I will see you tomorrow for that and I'm gonna enjoy this cup of coffee. Today I'm going to be trying the uh, cinnamon hazelnut coffee. Uh, this is, says it's coffee that tastes like a warm nutty cinnamon bun. So I cannot wait to smell this. I do love cinnamon buns, cinnamon rolls. Mmm, that smells really good. Forgive the noise in the background if you can hear the clicking. That is Guido getting a drink of water and his um, collar is hitting the bowl and it's loud. So I'm gonna get this started. I do not smell uh, an overly cinnamon smell. Um, so I'm just gonna, I mean, I can smell it. It's there, I can smell the cinnamon. It's just not really, really powerful. So I'm gonna let this brew and then I'm gonna put my sugar packets in there and uh, I'll try it, come back and try it in just a second. You have to wait for the clickety clack of Guido, and then this is gonna beep at me in just a second. As soon as I start talking, I know. Okay, I can be taking a drink though. Cinnamon hazelnut. Oh wow. I get both cinnamon and hazelnut in there. That's amazing because you would think that the cinnamon, that one or the other, usually there's a flavor that is a lot more powerful. Uh, this one, I would say they're equal, equal partners in this cup of coffee. Yeah, you get the, you get the cinnamon you get the cinnamon. I guess the hazelnut probably wins out just a little bit uh, with the flavor. Um, it's, there's just a little bit more hazelnut, I think. But this is a good cup of coffee. It's not one that I would get all the time. That said, I really like it. I like it better than uh, some of the other others I've had. I have them all, all five of them laying out over here. And um, I wanna put them in order. I wanna be able to tell you um, the order that I like them in. And it's so hard. Okay, I'm gonna leave them in the order they're in. Um, and I even put a number one in this bag because there's two that are called, there's two that have the word cream in them. And if I didn't put a note in here, then I wouldn't keep track of it. Um, and I'll probably put little notes in all of them <laughs> because once you get them, I have a ton up in my cabinet. And once you get them in these little baggies and you just throw them up there, you forget, okay, was this the one I liked the very best? Was it this one? Because the names just, there's so many of them. Uh, my very favorite out of these five, uh, I won't compare them to any of the other ones that I've tried or that I have. Just these five in this video. Uh, the hazelnut cream, number one. Loved it. By far loved it. Thought it was wonderful. And then the chocolate raspberry truffle. 
Uh, you remember that one? You could taste the chocolate, you could taste the raspberry. It was amazing. And then the Door County Cream, this is the one that had the vanilla in it. And um, so I like the other one the best. I don't need to recap all these, I know. Uh, it's been days for me, so I feel like I need to recap it for you all. You're just continuously watching this. Okay, and then I'm gonna say Raspberry Butter Crunch. I almost put the Raspberry Butter Crunch before the Door County Cream, but uh, they're about equal, honestly. And then I'll say the Cinnamon Hazel, that's the last of this one, this one that I have now. It's not that I don't like it, I do like it very, very much, but it had some strong competition. I would just say, um, you know, if I had had the cinnamon hazelnut in a different grouping, it might have won out because it's that good. It's just that in this grouping, um, it had some strong competition. So thank you very, very much, Scarlett. I love the opportunity you've given me to try all these different coffees, and I hope that, um, I've done a decent job to describe them for everyone else watching these videos, and I really appreciate you watching.